Follow the Giro d'Italia live and on demand each and every day, every pedal stroke on GCN+. Plus. Stage 14 of the Giro d'Italia began in Switzerland, in Sierre, in the canton of Valle. After a 24-hour flying visit, stage 13 had been neutralised to a point but saw racing in the second half. This was going to be an entire stage from start to finish. Paso Sempione, the start. 196 kilometers, but after the Paso Sempione going to over 2,000 meters, it will be a fairly flat run along the beautiful shores of Lake Maggiore. That, of course, if the weather allowed us to see any of it. A finish in Lombardy after briefly passing into Piemonte. Cassano Magnago, hometown of Ivan Basso, former Giro winner. It was a big fight for the breakaway. 18 riders originally managed to get there. They soon became 27, and two more chasers made it 29. Ineos Grenadiers knew they were in for a day controlling. At the top of the Paso Sempione, the weather turned worse. And Davide Baiz picked up the maximum points and the first category climb to restore the Maglia Azzurra to his property. He lost it the day previous to Thibaut Pino. On the way down the descent, the group managed to get a big gap over 12 minutes when the first attacks came. Alberto Bettio launching the first, Laurence Rex then went away. And that became a four-man group when Tom Screenge bridged up to the group that also included Ballerini and Oldani, two local riders. The group was at almost a minute, but then this happened. A reaction behind. Bruno Mirai was travelling in the group. He was the best place in the general classification at 18 and a half minutes, and it became clear that he might have a chance of taking the jersey. He wouldn't have a chance of taking the stage, though because even though the chasing group was getting closer, he was in a third travelling group. Rex caught three up the road, five chasing going into the final few kilometres, but just 16 seconds. Inside the last one and a half kilometres, that went down to 14 seconds. Time ticking away, pedal stroke by pedal stroke, they were being brought back. One final right turn and then into the one kilometre to go banner. With 800 metres to go, Oldani, who'd won a stage the previous year in Genoa, will launch a really long sprint. But it was an uphill, difficult finish, and he wouldn't have the legs to bring it home. Squinch there, Ballerini there, but their problem was the rest were there. Led by Alberto Bettiol, who launched his sprint at 300 to go, but didn't have enough either to bring it home. And Nico Denz, a winner two days previous, his first Giro stage, and he would suddenly have a collection. Derek G pushing him close for a third second place of this judo. Not quite arriving for the Canadian from Israel Premier Tech, but Bora Hansgrohe are flying. Two stage wins in three days. Germany on fire at this judo. Dens taking it, and Almirai coming in around 53 seconds back. The clock would then start on the Mallarosa group. Dens taking the 14th stage ahead of G, Betiol, Rex and Ballerini. Armirai just outside the top 10, but he was waiting and watching as the time ticked over 19 and a half minutes, the time when he would move into the race lead. In the end, he would get a nice healthy lead. However, with a big stage coming up, he'd be happy with just 24 hours in the Maillot Rose. The Maillot Rose, Maillot Rose for a day. It's the first Frenchman since 1999 to lead the Giro d'Italia. 1 minute 41, the advantage for Bruno Armirai, a respected workhorse of the peloton, having his day in the sun. Well, not quite, under the rain, but in pink. It will be podium time too for Davide Baiz, who moved back into the Maglia Azzurra, the King of the Mountains jersey, taking that of Thibaut Pino and receiving his prize from Vincenzo Nibali. Nibali, a man who liked these roads coming up. A mini tour of Lombardy, Sereno to Bergamo and in and around the hills next to Lake Como and into the Città dei Mille. Bergamo, an important city in the history of Italy, had its reunification 160 odd years ago. Hill after hill though, and big climbs. Bergamo passed a couple of times, up the famous Roncola Alta after passing the Selvino as well. Back into town, up above the old town. The final climb and the deep descent straight back into the centre after 195 kilometres. It's the final stage of the second week of the Giro d'Italia. The GC, the Maglia Rosa in play. And you can watch it all, every pedal stroke on GCN+.